Hi everyone, this is Daniel. In this video, I'm gonna show you how I made this diorama section with the gill. Unfortunately, the rest of the diorama wasn't so well documented, so I can show you today just this small section. The first step was to find inspiration pictures. I really like, for example, this scene where the train goes along the river. I wanted to add some rocks as well to keep the style of my existing diorama that I just built earlier. Regarding the water, I love this kind of really crystal clear gills with a little greenish shade. With placing some rocks into the water, it can be more interesting. And we will have some typical white water and rapids. The base of the diorama is a 5mm thick plywood that I cut to size and with a pencil I marked the planned place of the gill. The interesting part started here with the plastering work. At this time I used silicone molds for the rocks. It's an easy way to create realistic stones and rocks. Previously I sculpted by hand the rocks, which is incredible time consuming, but that give more freedom at creating shapes. The basic forms of the diorama is made of plaster. Since the layer won't be too thick, there is no reason to worry about the weight. To place and fixing the molded rocks, you can use plaster as glue, it will work perfectly. To working with plaster, it's key to not just place material to the surfaces and leave it alone to dry out and curing. You can continuously working on it. Before the plaster start curing, much easier to remove unnecessary parts and you can almost completely avoid any post work. Also, if you want to add some material, this is the best time. After finishing the plastering work, the diorama will look like something like this. Then I checked the connection with the existing diorama. As I was happy with the result, I started to add some dark wash to the entire diorama. Here also better to working with wet plaster, otherwise the dried plaster would suck up the liquid too quickly and would be very hard to make a nice consistent wash. Here the principle to cover the entire diorama to avoid snow white parts, which is not realistic. The bottom of the gear can be a little bit darker to give some depth. The next step was to add some olive green turf to imitating moss. To apply it firstly, I add some Mod Podge mat and use the gravitation to let it falling down. To make nice space for the grass, I cover the entire surface with the turf, but you can skip this step actually, since the grass is dense enough, it won't be visible at all. So it just wasted time and material. But for the rocks, it's definitely a good idea to add some green. I was not completely happy with the texture of the rocks, so I paint them again and added some dark wash. At this time I had to wait until the complete diorama dried out and I was able to add some highlight. For this I used a dry brush and I applied a small amount of white acrylic paint. Here easy to overdo this step and make a very cheesy looking result, so just carefully. The next also really fun part to add some static graph. I mixed two and a half, four, six and twelve millimeter non static grass. The longest ones are the yellow burn type, which will make a really nice result.
Also during the application, I changed the mixture. There are more greener spots and more yellowish ones. And in this time, I had to pay attention to the existing diorama, which is also not a homogeneous crust. It has to connect nicely. After I did the grass, looks the diorama much better. Let's add the water. For this, I used two component epoxy and I added a few drops of green acrylic paint. I made my life really difficult to split the water part because in this case I had to close a much bigger area, including the corner, so bigger the risk of any leaking. I glued with hot glue the plastic parts before applied epoxy. That was my first try with epoxy and I was lucky, there is no leaking. After 24 hours, I removed the cover of the diorama and I cut out the excess edge of the keel. The resin is not completely cured, so this is the perfect time to make small corrections. It's time to add some ripples and small waves. For the ripples, I used Mod Podge Glossy and Baking Powder. At this point, I had to decide which is the stream direction of the river. So the white water and the rapids has to be behind the rocks here. So I applied the ripples on that way. Here also easy to overdo it and apply too much material, which is not so realistic. For this step definitely need some time and patience. Then I cover the entire surface with Mod Podge Glossy and I try to fading the white water parts a little bit. After 20-30 minutes, the mod podge start to dry and with a sponge we can make some small waves. Be carefully and not remove too much material with the sponge. After a couple of days everything is dry and I can add some white highlighting to the surface of the water. It's the same technique like at the rocks and we need just a very small amount. And that's it, finished. I really enjoyed the building this diorama section and to be honest, the water part is far better than I expected for first time. If you have any question, comment, leave a message here below in the video, in the comment section, or use the like or dislike buttons. Thanks for watching, have a good one.